Hello friends, this is Shrank and it's time for Legend of Hero Trails of Cold Steel. I do thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what you think. I do always very much appreciate it. Oh, so it's the festival day so it's all decked out and nice. Awesome. Please remember that the Imperial Family's parade will be taking place today. We will be stopping and redirecting traffic in order to accommodate it. We humbly ask for your cooperation. All right, I'll cooperate, no worries. So it's the festival, nice. Happy Summer Festival! The first day is always this energetic. I think I'm just going to take it easy and enjoy myself. Taking out the parade and then heading out to the Sin Cathedral for Mass sounds like a good plan to me. Someone walked by. What she got to say, the housewife, usually. The first day of the Summer Festival always has a parade that shows off the Imperial family. I'm looking forward to seeing how this year's goes. Me too. That's awesome. My son and daughter-in-law live here, so I come to visit them for the summer festival. Now, where do they live again? I was here last year, but I can't exactly remember. I wanna go see- Oh, Fiora! Fiona! She's selling gelato! Ta-da! Welcome to the Toll Stall! Fiona, what are you doing here? <laughs> what else? I'm helping out. Can I interest you in the super special gelato that me and Agnes made together? Those actually look great. Oh, I love gelato. It's so yummy. <laughs> I think I'm in danger of just handing you my wallet here. I can buy something. It sounds like you have your work cut out for you today. Just remember to stop and take the time to refresh when you feel you're tired, okay? Sure. Thank you. Ooh, what is this? Tetra Gelato. A special gelato with swirls of four different flavors. Ooh, that is really good. I kind of want to buy it. Don't think I'll have the money, but ooh, I do have a lot of money. I've been grinding, haven't I? I'm going to buy one for the occasion, for the summer festival. That's so awesome. Oh, what, what's with the suitcase, dude? Is that him? No, it's not. I do hope he notices and comes back here. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Seems it kind of stands out in that suit, though. We should ask. Excuse me, is something the matter? Are you speaking to me? As a matter of fact, I'm trying to find the owner of this briefcase. A lost briefcase, huh? Where'd you find it? Oh, down now. It's not quite accurate to say that I found it or that he lost it. Actually, I have the exact briefcase, you see. As fate would have it, I bumped into one of this one earlier, which led to us mistakenly taking each other's. That's ridiculously unlucky. What absurd coincidence. Seriously, I could scarcely believe it myself. I came back here the moment I realized, hoping to do the same, but... He's yet to turn up. That explains things. Regardless, I plan on waiting here for a while longer. Thank you for letting me a friendly ear, though. You're welcome. Could we offer him our aid ring? Hmm. Sure. Help him find his real briefcase. Would you mind if we lent you a hand? We might be able to find him if we ask around. Are you sure? I'd feel terrible burning you like that. But simply waiting for him to return may not be the most effective method here. Don't worry about us. You're all so kind. Are you truly sure about this? We wouldn't offer if we weren't. Thank you so much. Alright, if I'm going to be relying on you, then I should probably introduce myself. My name's Bond, and I'm currently employed as a broker in Crossbell. I've only come here to Heimdar a few times, so I'm not all that familiar with it. Your kindness means a lot to me. I'm glad we noticed you then. Yeah, no one wants to be in a situation like this when they're abroad. Abroad. Would you mind telling us about the owner of this briefcase? Of course, he was a rather old fellow, wearing a, both a suit and a hat. Um, oh, and there's a guidebook in this briefcase that's detailed the major attractions of the Summer Festival, too. It mentions Princess Alphen's limousine, passing through the Garnier District during this afternoon's parade. And next to that was a little note that read, Don't miss this! That's about all I can tell you, unfortunately. I think that might have been enough. Guess we should ask around in the Garnier District first, then. Yeah, he might be there already. Finding him shouldn't prove too difficult with the description we received. Especially when we know the exact model briefcase to look out for, too. 
Speaking of which, is there anything notable in your briefcase? Hmm. The bunny plush I bought for my daughter would stand out the most, I imagine. Understood. We'll keep that in mind. We'll start searching immediately. But thank you. I hope you can find him. Quest in the case of emergency has started. Aww. Get out of my way. I'm trying to find a good bot to take pictures from. I bought a new Orville camera especially for today. I gotta get my money's worth. Chill. Chill. Happy Summer Festival! Please take this as a commemorative gift. Oh, thank you! We look forward to your continued patronage. Well, I'll try. I don't know how much longer we have in the city. Happy Summer Festival! We had an unusually large number of lost property inquiries today. Please take care to make sure you have all your belongings with you at all times. Oh, okay. Welcome to Plaza Bitfrost. We're handing out commemorative gifts today. This is our way of thanking our customers for their continued patronage. Yeah, I got one. It was nice. The bookstore. Hello. Not only is Prince Oliver a refined and elegant individual, he's also really highly educated. He even graduated top of the class from Fane Thor's Military Academy. Ooh, top of the class. What a blessing it must be to have so naturally gifted and be so naturally gifted in every regard. Oh, the 5th Imperial Carnival. Alright. Got all those. Guess I'll roam around a bit. Maybe I'll find that guy. Oh, hey, Crow. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Woohoo! Ha <laughs> I'm on a roll! <laughs> nice. I can almost taste that grand prize. Is he gambling? Crow? Ah, hey guys. Hey, Crow. How's that field study coming along? Oh, it's going fine. But why are you here? Oh, you don't know? Classes don't run back at the academy during the summer festival. So I came here to squeeze as much fun as possible out of this fortuitous bit of free time. Meaning? The summer races, of course. I thought they said before that students weren't allowed to bet on the races, Crow. Wait, you came all the way here to bet money on horse racing? We're minors! We're not allowed to place bets! <laughs> Do I look like a lawbreaker to you? Hmm... Sorta. Of. There's a magazine that's running a prize contest for the summer races. You send in your predictions, and if you're spot on, you win a really fancy prize. So you came all the way to the capital just to check on that? If only we all had such boundless energy. All right, time for some serious praying to the goddess. I'll leave the money here, okay? Thank you very much. Come back anytime. Anyway, I'm heading over to the cathedral over in the Sank district. Peace. Uh, thanks. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what to do if you crow. Come on, goddess, let me win that prize. That seems a rather pedestrian thing to pray for. So irresponsible. <laughs> That's cruel for you. Looks like there's still places here we haven't explored. Let's go look somewhere else. That was weird. Crow! The HMP are all over the place today. Can't blame them though. Prince Cedric is next in line for the throne. There'd be real trouble if anything happened to him. Especially when they have to face the wrath of the four great houses if there's ever the tiniest mistake. I bet. Welcome and happy summer festival. I kind of wanted to take the day off myself, but it was way too busy for that. <laughs> Life's rough when you work in the restaurant business. But you gotta make a living. Can you please add some more items to your repertoire? We, we still got time to make it to the parade, haven't we? Come on, just finish your parfait already! This is delicious! Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. General goods. Everyone's always selling commemorative goods and other limited edition stuff during the summer festival. It's fun to try to collect everything before it's gone, though. 
Oh, is it? Well, let me go look. Happy Summer Festival! I'd interest you in a mini statue of Emperor Dry Selves, and he will tend to purchase as a good look from a sort. Um, I don't see it, so we're gonna leave that be. Do I need any items? Oh, I hope not. I don't think I need any. Oh, I, got, I got plenty of revival bombs. We're good. We're good. <laughs> the amount of customers really does jump up during the summer festival. That's a good feeling. I'd recommend you buy everything you need before the parade starts, though. Once I put all the restrictions in place, it gets pretty hard to get any decent shopping done. Oh my. Hmm. What is it, Fee? What's wrong? So we know that G is planning something, unfortunately. Oh. Um. Did you notice something? I thought I sent someone suspicious. Do you think it's one of those terrorists? Hmm. We can typically depend on Fee's instincts at times like these. Might have been my imagination. Maybe. Lots of people excited for the festival here? Could be one of them. Either way, that's something we should know in our report. Like Laura said, your instincts tend to be accurate. Yeah, agreed. That's all there is to investigate on Van Keer Street. Time to move on to the other areas of the city. Oh, okay. I wonder if I did out of Alto Street. Let me check real quick. No, there's something over here. Happy it shows you, though. Hey, little boy, you lost? Hmm. Oh, Milton. What's wrong, Milton? Oh, hi, Elliot. There's a pretty interesting rumor floating around at the moment about someone just vanishing all of a sudden. Did you say vanishing? Do you know any more details? Oh, caught your interest, I see. I don't know. This is some juicy good stuff. It might even be ju too juicy to share. Speak up. Or I'll force it out of you. Right. Okay. I get it. Dang. You two are scary. Real scary. So yeah. Like I said, someone just... Someone from one of the apartments around here just straight up vanished. The character came by to check on them this morning and found the room as empty as it... No one ever lived there. The only thing left in there was a key to the room. That's quite the curious situation. Yeah, especially since they disappeared without even telling anyone. I've never heard of anyone leaving town during the summer festival either. Maybe that a reason they had to move out so quickly. Do you think this might be related to the terrorists in some way? Hmm, sounds like kind of a stretch. Whoa there, you guys seem like you got some good material. What's this about terrorists? Come on, fill me in! Don't worry, it's nothing important. There does seem to be some substance behind this rumor, though. Agreed. I think we'll do well to keep this story in mind. Okay, so it lets you know. That's all there is to investigate on Alto Street. We should move on to another part of the city. Okay. Cool. Well, they have to say. Thanks to Dad, we managed to finish all our decorating really fast. Even my superiors couldn't stop raising them. I wish he wouldn't drag me around town to talk to all his friends, though. Ugh. It isn't much, but please take this. Here's to the rest of the year treating you us well. Oh my, thank you ever so much. I'll be hoping for the same. Oh yeah, they said that it was good to speak of your neighbors and stuff on the summer festival. Oh, didn't change. Alright. Well, where to now? Garnier? The hotel. Oh, but there's my... Quest. Get this done too. Hello there, fresh juice man. Welcome. Are you here for some fresh juice? Unfortunately not. There's something we'd like to ask you. Reen asked Jonathan if he'd seen the man that Bond had described to them. Hmm. Yeah, I saw a guy like that not long ago, actually. So you, he was in fact match? Yep, old man for briefcase wearing a suit and hat, right? Bingo. That must be him. We're actually trying to find him. Did he tell you anything that might have given us an idea where he was going? Hmm. He did ask if there was a good place to sit down and relax around here. 
He also mentioned that he wanted something simple since everything here is so expensive. So where'd you tell him to go? I recommend an Alto Street, which isn't too far from here. In retrospect, maybe I should have been more specific and recommended a store. Oh, where Elliot lives. Yeah, that's where he is. Them checking Elliot at Tolay's. Probably our best bet. Allow us to make our way there then. Thank you for your cooperation. No worries. I gotta speak better. I'll go there in a bit. See what's in the hotel. Oh my. Aren't you the military academy students from the other day? Hmm? Oh, hello there. Miss Opera Singer. Vita. So we meet again. Did you come all the way here just to see me? V Miss Clotide. Wait, how do I say it? Miss Clotide. Clotilde? Clotilde? Miss C? I, I didn't think we'd get a chance to meet you. Uh, hello again. Actually, we're here as part of our field study again. We're doing a patrol of the city. Aww, isn't that a shame? But I'm glad to see you all working so hard. I see the two of you were able to make peace too. I'm surprised. How could you notice such a small change when you only met us once two days ago? Oh, was I right? <laughs> I just had a feeling that it might be the case. Call it a woman's intuition. Anyway, have you noticed any significant changes here since we last talked? Well, thanks to you all taking care of that beast, I've been able to truly relax during my stay. I've slept wonderfully these past couple of nights. But now that you mention it, I did notice a suspicious looking group of people near the hotel last night. You did? There were two of them talking in the back alley near here, hats pulled tightly over their heads. When they noticed me trying to sneak a peek, they panicked and vanished into the night. I did overhear them talking about a plan of some kind, though. A, a plan? That does sound rather suspicious, although we don't know enough to say for certain. Yeah, it does sound like something we should keep in mind. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I'm happy to be of service. Still, I'd love to stay here and talk for a while, but I'm afraid my schedule's a little booked up at the moment. Are you busy doing something for the festival? Yes, I was invited by a member of the Imperial family to sing at a banquet held tonight at the palace. I was actually on my way to rehearse for it. I see. I wish I'd go and watch, but I doubt there's any chance of that. Obviously. Well, good luck. We wish you all the best. The same to you. Anyway, goodbye for now. Oh, she's so pretty and she was helpful. <laughs> That's a pro for you. Even when you wish her luck, you're the one who feel, ends up feeling encouraged. Indeed, she never ceases to surprise. But that's it. That's all there's investigating the Garnier District. Time to move on to one of the other areas. Let's go to Mater Park. It's really pretty. I'm happy that the town, the city has a nice park. Anything over here? Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, I love how it's decked out. Well, here we are, back in Mater Park. It still feels weird using the underground passage to get here. The atmosphere really is different than it was the other day, though. This area seems to be extremely well guarded. Soldiers patrolling the park appear to be from the Heimdar military police. It looks like the Imperial Guard from Valfar Palace is in charge of security for the Crystal Garden itself, though. I imagine security is going to be airtight, considering the garden party is going to be held here. Yeah, especially with Princess Alfin in attendance. This level of security probably stands as standard when it comes to members of the Imperial family. That makes this a bit of a problem, then, right? What are you... What are you doing over there? Uh, we just kind of got through your security, sorry. <laughs> How did you manage to slip through our security? Where did you come from? Underground. They seem to regard us as intruders. Looks like we found a little hole in their security. I don't think it's time to pat ourselves on the back. 
Yeah, we're probably going to need to explain what happened. I see. So you're students from Military Academy, are you? Though there was a secret passage here all along. You didn't know about this? It extends into the underground tunnels as well. We had no record of this at all. We discovered it purely by coincidence during our field study. However, it's certainly not impossible, implausible that it might be used for unsavory groups to breach security. We'll station some of our men to this area at once. I hate to admit it, but you really helped us by bringing this to our attention. You have my thanks. Awesome. Think, think nothing of it. Um, we're just happy to have been of assistance. Looks like this area should be fine now. Yeah, let's move on to somewhere else. So they didn't know about it at all. Ooh, AP increased by two. That was cool. All clear. More and more guests are starting to arrive now, so let's keep our eyes open. All right. What? Patrick? Huh. I thought I smelled something familiar. Hey, isn't that... Oh, Patrick, you're here too? Huh. But of course, I did receive a personal invitation to the garden party, after all. I see you're all tied up with your field studies or whatever you call them. You know, such a fine day. You poor souls. Ugh. It really does get under my skin. I've gotten used to it already. Hmm. Are you alone today? I was under the impression that your butler, Celestin, always attends you, but I don't see him today. Huh, it's true. He often is at my side, but I spend plenty of time on my own as well. Don't take me for one of those useless nobles who can hardly lace his boot without his butler's help. I always got the impression his butler was there more to keep an eye on him. Did you say something? Oh, me, of course not. Nothing. <clears throat> well... I wouldn't want to get in your way. I'm sure you have, you're have you running all kinds of menial errands. Meanwhile, I intend to introduce myself to Princess Alfin. Trying to be too jealous now. <laughs> now if you excuse me. Hey, I met Princess Elfin last time. We're good. You even invited Reen to dance with her. I can't say I'm all that jealous considering all the time we spent talking with her yesterday. Even invited Reen to be her dance partner. You know, after seeing that, I can't even bring myself to be irritated by him anymore. Anyway, now that we expose the hole in their security, this area should be relatively safe from terrorist tampering. Yeah, I think it's time to move on to another area. That was cool. Hey, Rain, check out that briefcase over there. This must be the guy we're looking for. Excuse me. Hi there. Why, hello there. Is there something you need from me? Funny you should ask. Green explained then Miss mix up to the man and asked him to check the contents of his briefcase. Really? Well, let me check. The man opened up his briefcase and checked the contents. Oh no, this really isn't my case. You're right. Please, take me to this bond person right away. Oh, good. Excellent. Please accept my apologies for not noticing sooner. I don't come to Hinder that often either, so your quick thinking saved us both. Oh no, I can't take the credit for this. It's all thanks to these students that things worked out. I did was stand here and wait. These young men and women were so kind. Once again, I'm going to express my thanks to all of you. Not everyone would take the time to search for me like you did. I'd like to second that. Part of me was worried that I wouldn't be able to turn to Crossbell. But now I can. All thanks to you. <laughs> There's no need to thank us, really. We didn't do much. That's hardly true. Please take this. It's a little something from Crossbell. It's not much, and I hope I'll convey my appreciation. Running Mishy. We meet again, Mishy. You sure we can have this? I insist. Thank you. Is there anything else you need before we leave? No, I think everything is going to be just fine. Thank you once again. Best in case emergency completed. Nice. I'm still amazed that we both have the exact same briefcase. What a curious coincidence. I'm certain it is. 
I didn't believe these kids at first. Well, now they met. What do you say we go watch the parade together? I like the way you think. Looks like they hit it off pretty well. Aw, that's sweet. Oh yes, you're a father, aren't you? I must admit that I'm a little jealous. <laughs> My family really is wonderful. More wonderful than I deserve. Aw, he's a good daddy. Good husband. That's nice to see. Now, where should I go now? What well, to next? I went to the Garnier. Let's go to Oz District. I do thank you so much for watching, and I'll probably be back later when it's quieted down a bit. But have an awesome day. Bye.